the DVD reviews are here today to review the Blu-ray of the classic horror film Gortastic. Bleach. H.P. Lovecraft. I was going to say H.G. Wells. H.P. No, no, no. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Howard Phillip. I don't even know if that's right. H.P. Lovecraft. From Beyond. That's oh, right. scary. From Beyond was a movie that was censored for so many years. It was too out of control. People couldn't fucking take I, it. I don't understand it. I mean, watch the fucking movie. It's not even that fucking bad. It's, it's really not. It's just some rubber bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just fucking the thing, you know, yeah, to the exactly. nth degree. It's not that bad. So what the story is, this is kind of like a loose sequel, I guess, next project for the makers of the reanimator. It says from the creators of reanimator yeah, yeah. on the box. Basically what happens is some motherfuckers... They're doing an experiment up in a house, I guess because it was too fucking illegal, they couldn't do it, like I mean, at a, at a I mean, yeah, you, you know, laboratory, you, science, right. whatever. You just had to read into it, because you never quite explained. You got these two scientists, fucking Jeffrey Combs and that other guy. Some, they, some <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, and they, 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 the experiment itself can fit in this fucking garage, but they fucking had a huge <laughs> mansion. Because they had to run on the cable, they need oh, too yeah, much true. power, they need, they need the power, but like, but just, just to put it in perspective, Fucking runtime is what, 85 minutes? 86. Fucking first three minutes of the fucking movie. You got a fucking. Already shit's You got a wrong. fucking eel from outer space or another dimension flying around and biting Jeffrey Combs in the fucking face. I know. That's the intro, <laughs> man. I mean, that's the fucking. So right away, hit the ground wrong, running. Yeah. You, you know, you're gonna, you know you're gonna be in good hands. So basically what happens is. Jeffrey Combs comes running from the house screaming, the experiment went wrong. Basically what this machine does is it opens a gateway to another dimension. But, but these scientists are so fucking irresponsible. They don't know what the dimension... Maybe it's hell. We don't know. We don't know what right, it is. Right, right. Maybe they're fucking going you know, to just fucking destroy the earth by letting creatures and demons come in and kill everyone. But they're so fucking narcissistic and just want, they, they want to be, fucking see everything. Combs' partner, some Fifty Shades of Grey motherfucker, been whipping women up to fucking ass and slapping their pussies on tape. And exactly, shit. And, and by the way, like, like you don't even need to fucking like wait for the for that the thirty minute mark. As soon as he fucking knocks on the guy's door, he's got this silk Hugh Hefner robe and bare chest, and he's like, "What do you want?" And you can just tell he's either banging somebody or masturbating to some fucking exactly erotic porn. Anyway, exactly. like, this is a scientist. This is the main scientist. Fucking Jeffrey Combs was his assistant and shit. This, this motherfucker is supposed to be brilliant, but man, he was exactly. disturbed. So anyway, a monster comes through the dimension, eats this Fifty Shades of Grey motherfucker's ah. head. The the cops, they want to blame Jeffrey Combs, saying, oh, you murdered the motherfucker. Well, where's his head, motherfucker? No, exactly. I mean, <laughs> where's his head? Cir no circumstantial evidence, man. Where's the head? Where's the murder weapon? Obviously, it wasn't hacked off by a fucking axe, which is the only weapon in the fucking house. It looked like it was twisted off. It was like, twisted off it was like by a monster's fucking, mouth. A bloody nub was just yeah. out of his neck and... <laughs> They even fucking drew him on the fucking, uh, with the, chalk, the body <laughs> chalk with a little, twist with little tiny <laughs> nub coming out of his neck. So it made clear you can't kill this motherfucker. So they throw, they throw Jeffrey comes in the house. Barbara Crampton comes in, the lovely Barbara Crampton. She plays an uptight girl wonder psychologist. So fucking nerdy. She ain't even hot at this point. She's mm, so not fucking uptight, all. fucking all clothes up to here, big old nerdy library glasses. And, and she's like, no way, I want to find out what happened. I want to find out what happened. Let's go back and recreate the experiment. I believe Jeffrey Combs is innocent. Exactly. So what she does, she wants to take him out of the fucking nut house, take him back to the house to do the experiment to prove yeah. was the sign. Fiction, double, double feature, feature bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> really happening or was it all crazy yeah. so and obviously because they think he's under uh, suspicion for the murder and shit yeah. they have to bring a cop who do they bring as a cop <laughs> Ken Foray from Down to the Dead Ken he's Foray. fucking Bubba Brown Lee or something like yeah. that he, former ex, football ex player football player <laughs> fucking uh, suitcase full of thumbs yeah. and shit he yeah. packs up to go to the house <laughs> right like why would he need that there's, there's exactly. no pool there's no indication that it was summertime no, no. he doesn't want to <laughs> he wear just wants to wear songs <laughs> So, uh, anyway, okay. anyway, they go to the house, <clears throat> they find the machine, they have to fix it, because uh, Jeffrey Combs was trying to smash it, but he didn't, he just knocked a fork off or whatever, so he can fix it. Yeah, yeah just, he just took an axe, and there's like three little prongs of forks, and he just knocked one of them off. Easy fix. I mean, yeah. he didn't do a good job sabotaging no. the fucking machine. Well, there was monsters chasing him, so it wasn't like he could just sit there all Fair day. point, and, fair yeah. point, though. <laughs> You'll see. So. I mean, a fucking eel bit him in the face. A flying <laughs> eel bit him in the face. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> so, any, so anyway, basically what happens is they turn the machine on. Fucking, the, what the machine also does besides open uh, another world, makes everybody grab the head because their pineal gland is growing it's probably the third eye. eye. It's yeah, probably made there's, there's some fucking gland in your brain that's like that's attracted to all your senses. It goes beyond the five mm -hmm. senses. Basically, it makes everybody horny. At, yeah. a, at a high level, scientific L explanation. L literally, Ken Foray gets a hard on. He even says so. He even <laughs> says so. Yeah. And they don't have to show. He just says, what about my hard on? How did I get my hard on? It's the perennial, pineal, whatever. Yeah. Phineas and fur gland. The third eye. 
Exactly. So what happens is Jeffrey comes like, I proved it. Mm -hmm. You know the shit worked. I'm innocent. You know I'm innocent. You saw some little snake shit. Because the snake shit came down and then, and then bit, uh, or some no, jellyfish. No, it was a jellyfish. A fucking jellyfish. A <laughs> flying bit jellyfish. Ken Foray. Bit Ken Foray's arm. And he was like, ouchie. Yeah, so <laughs> they proved it, dog. They proved yeah, it. Yeah. They, they proved it. Right. You know. But meanwhile, Barbara Crampton, fucking, she's obsessed. She's horny. She, she keeps turning the machine on the dumb fucking and, horse. And, right. And the irony is, she's just as obsessed as a fucking... Hugh Hefner scientist. Yeah. So she, so she's like, getting horny. She, she's getting horny. That's part of it, but she just has to know. She can't leave well enough alone. Dog. Mm -hmm. She's fucking obsessed with this shit. She's like, I gotta know what happened. Turn it back on. <laughs> I gotta get more yeah, wet. I gotta get more wet. <laughs> and, and, and she's starting to be like hotter and hotter. Yeah, like yeah. She's, she's her hair's yeah, coming down. She starts dressing like, up in leather. And yeah. Oh, to like, dude, yeah. Like, so she flips it on. Of course, the monsters come back. Then they really, Ooh. shit really gets out of control. Oh, fucking so out of control. Jeffrey comes because all his hair eating off. He's dying, dog. He's like, he's. Transformer so much for so much. It's like exposure. an albino, man. Yeah. Eyebrows gone, hair gone, fucking welts on he his looks fucking chest. He looks like he's dying, too. He looks like he's dying. So, yeah. what does Barbara Crampton do? She goes in, she climbs up fucking on it with her whole fucking leather outfit on. Fucking she climbs on him. outfit and shit. And climbs on him, trying to do him and all this shit. There's actually a part where she reached down on his dick and grabbed his dick. dick. And, then some, and then some liquid somehow, pre cum. Pre cum, maybe. <laughs> it was on her fingers and she was eating it. Maybe bull sweat. I, I don't like, know, but fucking, she was just a whore of whores in this movie. But that's why I like Ken Foray in this movie. He comes in. And he sees this. He starts screaming at her. What are you doing? He's the so voice of the reason. Yeah, you because know, because he's just the cop over, overseeing everything. Yeah. And he, does, he, does, he doesn't like, care about science fiction. He says, "Shut this shit down." He doesn't want anything to do with it. He's already been attacked by a goddamn jellyfish. <laughs> exactly. He opens what the more door and it? says, "What are you doing?" Look at yourself! Look at yourself! Of course, this slut, she tries to bang him too. He thinks about it. I think he actually kissed, maybe? Really? Uh -huh. he, she gets close. But yeah, yeah, but he pushes her away. He's like, I'm okay. But this time, though, they're like, okay, we gotta get out of here. Well, it's turning us all crazy. Mm -hmm. But the machine, at this point, because the monsters can influence the dimension and all that shit, they start turning the machine on themselves. So, yeah, so yeah. then the finale, ain't gonna spoil too much more. The monsters come back. Giant monster. Fifty Shades of Grey motherfucker comes monsters. out as a big rubbery monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's actually part of the monster now because I guess when they it, it bit its head off, he's like the life yeah. force was inside it. And he's like, I'm more human now. And, ah. fucking, fucking Jeffrey Combs becomes a brainy and zombie running around a hospital. Which is a people. very interesting sight. I mean, there's not just one monster. I mean, Jeffrey no. Combs becomes this fucking homicidal oh murderous God, fucking... It's, it's fucking out of I mean, control. just the, the coolest way to fucking eat a brain I've ever seen in my life. Like, you guys will enjoy <laughs> it, it. It's actually you better know? than even like some modern day like zombie movie you shit. It really it. is. Yeah. Dude, one of the creepiest lines is like he's trying to fucking eat uh, Barbara's brain and he's yeah. like... You won't feel any pain, I promise. It won't hurt. I'm like, bullshit, that's gonna fucking hurt. Like shit. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. So, as a movie, just a weird, bizarre cult movie, science fiction, taken to the extreme. I loved it, man. I really, I really right. love this movie. From Beyond, I am going to give it 8.5 out of 10. Oh, gee. All right, that's pretty good, man. I'm actually only going to give it 7. I'm not as big a fucking science fiction fan and shit. And it's not even that I found any flaws. It's just that I'm not sure if I want to see it again. It was fucking disturbing as fuck. To tell you, to tell you the truth, it really was. It was a parade of gross shit. It, it really was. was. It was just a parade of gross shit. There's actually a part where the monster grows extra long fingers so he can finger a girl. Yeah. I mean, and who knows? Did he have one of the pink, two in the stink? Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. We, we, don't, know. we, we didn't don't see know. it, but we knew it was up there. All right. Moving on to picture and sound, I love the way it looked. It looked very film-like. You see the film grain, but it wasn't blurry. It wasn't soft. Good. The sound, they did a DTS HD Master uh, audio stereo, so it was only in stereo because it's such an old movie. They didn't even have surround sound in theaters. No like shit. That. No shit, man. So it started making some <clears throat> fake shit that would sound all echoey. You know, they just used the original sound. I like the picture. The sound was more than fine, even though it was stereo. Picture and sound, I mean, for this being an old movie, and they had to find the little, because it was, it was just an uncut, they had to find the old pieces that were lost oh, and put them yeah, back in. Yeah. And there's a few scenes where you can tell maybe the quality changes a little bit, but it didn't go to VHS like some movies. Nope. <laughs> some movies it goes to VHS. Some movies it, will... I, Fucking talk about Yeah. Which we don't we don't know what's coming out first, so maybe you already saw yeah, it. Yeah. Maybe you're gonna see it later, yeah, but just... <laughs> we're not doing it. Anyway. Yeah. So picture and sound, it was still good. I wanna give it a presentation for an older movie. They did a good job. Seven and a half out of ten on picture and sound. I'm just gonna give it a six, but that's because I don't wanna just fucking mirror the go and I gotta have my own opinion. He wasn't blown away by the shit. Now Special features, they got the audio commentary by director Stuart Gordon and Cass. So these old fuckers, they dug them up, dog. Yeah. And yeah. they they tell you everything they remember about the shit. Uh, new interviews with Barbara Crampton. Who doesn't want to see it? Barbara Crampton is still good looking now. So, actually, maybe even better looking. I'm not sure. Director's perspective featurette, editing room, lost and found featurette, where they talk about how they find all this old shit, put it back in the movie. Hmm. Interview with the composer, Richard Band, a photo gallery, storyboard to film comparisons with introduction. 
Is that fucking where they draw this shit and they show yeah. you? With they're like, this is concept. what we wanted to do, and then this is how the rubber makeup want, really did. This is what you get. <laughs> and more. And more, motherfucker. More, dot, dot, dot. Exactly. Um, I, and, I, and more usually means a trailer. But yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> um, I haven't seen any, any of them, but I gotta tell you, I fucking love when they dig up these old directors, yeah. and, they, and they willingly and gladly do the commentary, and they always remember everything. Exactly. Like you said before in the past, sorties, when they have this much special features for an unknown movie, it more... Makes it more legitimate. Absolutely, absolutely. Not just fucking some cheap ass fucking. Oh, it's a director's cut. No yeah. special features. No trailer. Enjoy. Here you go. Exactly. Throw, throw away movie. So special features. I really don't know what they could have come up with more. So I got to give it ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. um, even though I don't know anything about them, haven't seen it. Just the fact that the director came out of fucking crawling. Maybe they even had to fucking do a seance to get him. I don't know if he's alive or dead. <laughs> no, but he's alive. I give it. Dude, I give that shit. Like I movies. give it a ten based on that, dude. And then maybe everyone home has like that old Fangoria or Gar Gorzone where they remember reading about this movie. Like, yeah. oh shit, you know, fucking, I wonder what happened with that. Well, it's out now, Blu ray. Fucking get it, watch get it, it, enjoy it. Love pay, it. Your, pay your 16 bucks because it's worth it. Pay it, dog. Right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>